Hi, this is John, the 6 Echo Yankee, with a, another GNU Radio starter uh, project. Um, we've been running a series called Hello World. We started with an FM receiver, then an AM receiver, and in this video we're going to do a single sideband receiver, and also add a number of new features uh, that we haven't played with before. The first one is, rather than listening to the radio, we're going to play back uh, a file that captured uh, 250 kilohertz of the 20 meter band and uh, we'll use that as our audio source as opposed to the receiver. And no reason to do that other than it's just something different and I wanted to give it a try. <laughs> so, so there we go. Uh, then we're going to use a frequency translating FFT filter. Now what this filter does is several important things. First of all, it uh, it uh, translates uh, the center frequency of the filter to whatever station you're tuning. So we've captured a chunk of spectrum between 14.15 uh, and 14.25 megahertz, and uh, we can tune anywhere within that, uh, uh, that band of spectrum, and then filter the signal we want to listen to, and, uh, and, and then decode it. We also added automatic gain control, just to keep the audio simple. We built uh, our own uh, single sideband demodulator using the Weaver method, uh, which uh, compensates for the fact there isn't a sideband demodulator built into GNU Radio. And uh, we'll take you through it in detail, but first here's a demonstration of how it all works. We'll run this and uh, take a listen uh, to uh, 20 meters. Okay, 7 X-ray Charlie, 79 Nevada. Nevada, there you are. Copy number 49049, Bravo. November 5, Victor Uniform. Check up 76, Louisiana, Lima Alpha. Is that 490, Bravo? Uh, yeah, I got a late start. So Zero, this capture four, nine, uh, takes place nine, during the uh, okay, uh, sweepstakes contest, the sideband uh, really sweepstakes surprised. contest. And as you can see, there's lots uh, of different uh, signals to tune into. Those, and we can tune uh, using the slider at the top. We can adjust our AGC. We can adjust our overall gain. And we can look at both the spectrum of signals and also the uh, post-filtering of the sideband signal we're listening to. So there's an example of the uh, sideband receiver working. There I've just tuned to another station at 14.2. Uh, Okay, so there's an example of the receiver working. So now let's go through the circuit and talk about how it works. Uh, the first thing is a, uh, a WAV file, uh, which is an audio file of the IQ data taken from my Perseus receiver while I was playing it back with the uh, SDR console. And uh, one thing I found out is uh, the WAV file player built into GNU Radio will only handle 8 and 16-bit uh, WAV files. It will not handle 24 and 32-bit WAV files. You got an error message for those, so make sure you're uh, only recording at 16 bits uh, and capture your spectrum. The uh, WAV file puts out floating point data left and right channel, which is equivalent to the IQ data from the receiver. So the first thing we do is we want to convert those two channels into complex numbers, and we use the float to complex type adapter. Lastly, we put a throttle rate in here. Um, throttle simply helps smooth out the flow of data through the GNU Radio uh, sketch. And uh, I found that the playback was a bit choppy if I didn't add a throttle in. And it's set for the uh, 250 kilohertz or kilosample per second uh, recording. Now, one thing when you're playing around with software-defined radio is you have to think about uh, how much data you actually want to handle. And uh, when you're running GNU Radio, the more data you're handling, uh, the more your harder your filters and other things have to work. So it's a good idea to get rid of all the data you don't need at various points in your sketch. So what we're doing here with the resampler is we're decimating that uh, from 250 kilohertz down to 50 kilohertz, a uh, decimation of 5. And we're also adding in a little bit of uh, amplification. 
Uh, so think of this as an RF gain control at the front end of the receiver just to amplify the data coming out of the wave file up to a more uh, reasonable level. So there's the playback of a chunk of frequency from the uh, uh, sweepstake sideband contest. Next we come to the frequency translating FFT filter. Now there's two frequency translating filters in in uh, GNU radio. One is a analog filter, the FIR filter and FIR, and the other is the FFT filter which works in the uh, frequency domain. I've chosen to use the FFT filter because when you're running uh, large amounts of data and heavier filtering, FFTs are much more efficient than FIR filters. So that's the reason I've chosen this one. And so what this does basically is uh, I've got some variables set up. My sample rate divided by decimate, that's 250 kilohertz divided by 50, gives me a uh, 50 kilohertz sample rate. I've set a filter width of, uh, of approximately um, 1200 kilohertz. And when you're playing with complex data, a low pass filter uh, of 1200 kilohertz will give you approximately a 2.4 kilohertz filter because it works on both sides of the base, baseband zero. So anyway, there's the filter set up. Uh, center frequency is, uh, is set by the tuner and the, the, uh, the filter width. So this tuner will tune. Where is it here? Tuner. Yeah. It tunes basically plus and minus 25 kilohertz from 14.2 megahertz. And uh, as I move the slider in the program, it centers the filter on whatever frequency I'm tuning to, which can be above or below the center frequency of the captured uh, uh, signal bandwidth. And I'm also reducing the center frequency by the filter width because um, I want to make sure the frequency being shown is the bottom edge of the sideband signal, uh, which is the reason for doing that. Okay. So after that uh, frequency translating filter, and I also add in uh, de another decimation stage of 5, it gets me down to a 10 kilohertz signal, uh, which is plenty wide enough to decode sideband. I'm just going to skip over the AGC right now. So this next block here is called uh, Weaver Sideband Demodulator. And basically, we take the data uh, from the translating filter, uh, and then we mix it with a sine wave and a cosine wave at the same frequency as the filter cutoff. Um, and that basically gives us uh, two signals that we can add together to get sideband. And in, in the case of upper sideband, we add these two signals that have been mixed together. And in, if we want lower sideband, we just replace this adding block with a subtracting block. So this converts the uh, audio, or rather, this converts the radio signal down to um, a sideband signal. These signal sources are fundamentally a complex uh, valued beat frequency oscillator. That's really all it is. And then we'll take that 10 kilohertz uh, radio signal uh, down to baseband and then back up to 16 kilohertz to get an audio signal, uh, which is what we output. So that's basically the whole receiver. Listen to the, um, the wave file, uh, decimate the information from the wave so file, um, give it a bit of gain, uh, tune however you want within that pass band to get the signal you want to listen to, uh, decode it in the sideband, and then put out the audio. Now, AGC, uh, the automatic gain control in GNU Radio takes a bit of playing with, but basically what it does is you set a reference level, in this case uh, 300 millivolts basically uh, of, of output. And as the signal you're receiving goes over the reference level, the amount of gain is decreased to keep it at that level. And as it falls below uh, the reference level, uh, the signal is amplified to bring it back up. So this basically gives you a bit of automatic gain control, uh, which uh, is useful when you're listening to uh, sideband signals of varying uh, amplitudes. The controls here are pretty straightforward. We have a slider for tuning. We have a slider for gain, uh, that front end gain at the beginning. Uh, we have a volume control. 
we have a uh, display of the frequency. This one is quite interesting because uh, what it does is basically uh, gives you a text box in your uh, screen that shows you what exactly you're tuned to. And you've got to just do a bit of calculation to get that number. And then we have uh, two slider controls for the attack time and the delay time uh, for the AGC. And I'll talk about those a bit in the blog post. For display, we have uh, a waterfall, which shows the whole spectrum that we're capturing. And there again, that's at the sample rate of 50 kilohertz. So it's showing us plus or minus uh, from 14.2 megahertz. And then we have this uh, FFT showing the filtered signal. This basically shows uh, how much attenuation we're getting from the filtering. Now, I've noticed with GNU Radio, it doesn't take much to uh, slow the program down and make it choppy, uh, at, at least on my computer. If you add in, uh, if you add in very steep uh, transition width to your filter, uh, then you'll find that um, you'll find that it has to create more taps, and the more taps you create, the longer it takes to filter, and that can slow your machine down. So the filter in this uh, program isn't absolutely great, uh, but it does work, and it does demonstrate what we're trying to do. So there's a complete uh, single sideband receiver that tunes the 20-meter band based on a recording that I made a bit okay, earlier. You can choose whatever color you and want for the spectrum, but you can see Zero. each of these is a sideband signal being received Check during this contest. Louisiana, Lima, Alpha. And then this is the uh, signal after it's uh, being yeah, filtered. Zero, four, nine, and uh, you can see nine, that filter, even though it's okay, not a fine. fantastic it's filter, it's giving us around... Uh, Seventy or eighty dB of uh, of attenuation for signals that are off frequency, and uh, it actually works quite well. Certainly well enough to uh, to play with and listen to. Where you can tune to different signals, and as we tune, it shows the frequency at the top. So we've just tuned down to. Uh, 14192 approximately. That's the signal we're listening to. And uh, lots of fun. Signals work great. You can vary the attack time on the AGC. You can. We've got this running sort of as a medium uh, decay right now. We can run it with a very very uh, slow decay or very fast decay, depending uh, what we want to do. And we can vary the gain and the volume and, and so on. So here, this is a very simple single sideband receiver that uh, works great. And it shows you basically all you need to do to uh, run a sideband receiver in GNU Radio. We could replace this wave source file with an actual receiver, and it would pretty much all work the same way. And uh, so what we really tried to show in this is some new things that we didn't have in our previous FM and AM receivers. But I'm very happy with the way it works, and I've learned a whole bunch about how GNU Radio works. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, and find out more on my blog site. Thank you.